Hello and welcome back or welcome if you're new. If you're new here, my name is Elena. I'm the homeschooling mama to three kiddos. I'm trying to listen for them as well. Here we talk about everything from homeschooling, homemaking, all the things in between. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna make some freezer meals. At least at this point in time, I'm going to attempt to. It's a little after eight and I was gonna do this this afternoon, but I have about an hour and a half maybe before I have to leave for our first appointment this morning. So I think maybe I can at least squeeze in a couple of meals and just get it done for the day. Wow. So I'm not prepared at all. I didn't clean the counters off. I didn't get my materials ready or anything like that. So let's just dive right in. The stove's a mess and I honestly thought about wiping it down before I started filming, but I'm just gonna make it a mess again. So I'm not going to. My little man has decided he would like some egg and hot dogs for breakfast, so I'm gonna get that going as well. And I have two packs here, two little chubs of ground beef, so I'm gonna get that cooking too. This part is gonna be for part of our freezer meals. I don't advise you cut like this. It's just, I'm in a rush and uh, sometimes Moms take shortcuts, but if you, you can get hurt. So please do as I say, not as I do. Now I feel guilty. So okay. I'm going to take out the... So all three of my kiddos have decided they would like hot dog and eggs for breakfast. It's a, uh, let me know if you had this growing up because this was <laughs> kind of a breakfast staple in our household when we grew up, but, <clears throat> but I realized probably maybe not everyone. Anyways, so I'm going to cook this up and get a second pan out and get the ground turkey or ground beef going. I actually need to take ground turkey out for dinner. Okay, my ground beef is cooking. This is gonna eventually be for like a cornbread casserole that I wanna make. I've never done it in a freezer prep style, so I'm hoping that it's gonna come out okay. What I'm doing here is just adding some onion powder. I'll probably add garlic and cumin. I add cumin to everything pretty much. It's one of my favorite spices, so. I'm gonna add the cumin in, and then I have some minced garlic too. We just use this from Costco. I have a heavy hand <laughs> with it. So as you can see, I don't really measure. I just kind of plop it in there. So I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit. The breakfast is done, so I'm gonna serve the kiddos that, and then I'm gonna run out, not run, because if you know me, I don't run anywhere, but <laughs> I'm gonna go out to the garage, grab the chicken, and then um, see what else I need to grab for the rest of the freezer meals. And I kind of remember why I don't do this. I thought I had time in the morning, but because I'm trying to get the kids also ready and started with school, it feels very rushed, but I already started, so let's keep going. All right, my ground beef is already cooked, so I turned off the heat, and then I realized probably gonna want an onion. I usually have diced onion ready to roll, um, but I've not been on my kitchen prep game. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and try to chop this up because we're gonna need this for the recipe too. I'm gonna make, I call it honey soy chicken, but it is actually, I think, honey sesame chicken. I've made it a few times here um, in freezer prep meals. And the original recipe that I loosely follow is from Six Sisters. So if you wanted to look that up, that's where it's from. But I say loosely follow because I kind of just eyeball the ingredients at this time, at this, you know, we've made it so often that I just kind of eyeball the ingredients um, instead of being precise. My goal is, I'm not the best chopper, but <laughs> my goal is to have a couple of freezer meals ready to roll because Things were a little simpler when I had freezer meals ready. So I was, for a while, um, 
Sorry, my little man's also sitting here, so I'm pausing to make sure he doesn't need me. But for a little while, I was doing monthly meal prep and then monthly grocery shopping and doing a monthly freezer prep. But I got away from it and it shows. And I talked about this more in our May grocery haul and kind of budget plan, if you want to know more on what's what the goal is and plan for me. Oh yeah, <laughs> the onion juices are kicking in. So there's like half, gonna chop this. It's about nine o'clock right now. I may have to finish some when I come back. Thankfully, we won't be gone too long, but let's see, I really wanna see how much I can get done before we go. Since I already started, you know, once you're in motion, kind of hard to stop, so. <laughs> oh, my eyeballs, <laughs> I'm crying. Okay, so here's kind of where the eyeballing portion is going to come in. I will link the recipe down below for you in case you want the exact instructions, but I'm going to mix the sauce together. The sauce part, um, honey, soy sauce, ketchup. She puts oil in, but I usually skip it and it's fine. And then garlic. So let's throw some garlic in. It says two garlic cloves minced. I'm going to double it because I want to make two of these. <laughs> that's way more than what I need, but we like garlic. So that's going there. We use um, liquid aminos instead of soy sauce, but use whatever whatever your family uses. And then the original recipe is for a cu one cup of honey, I believe per recipe. I mean per, I, I, like per, you know, per not serving is not what I say. Want to say? It's like one cup for. <laughs> <laughs> the recipe. I'm trying to rush and so the words, they're not working. But since I'm doubling it up, um, and probably you would want to use two, although two cups of honey just sounds like an awful lot to me. Um, so I don't like overly sweet. I like it in my desserts. I don't usually have it in my food. Um, just for example, my family all loves orange chicken and I do not because it's a little too sweet for me. So I feel like there's sugar in the ketchup and as you can see, I'm just going to kind of guesstimate on the honey portion here. So like I said, that's, mine's going to come out a little different. And then all I'm going to do once I mix this up is separate it into the bags. So I'm gonna, this sauce should be for two bags. Labeled my bags. Um, these are labeled chicken Philly or fajitas because essentially it's kind of, we'd use the same thing. Um, so I can either make it into chicken fajitas or we can make them into Philly, chicken Philly sandwiches. They're fake Philly sandwich, so don't come for me. Um, <laughs> all of this is just home cooking, simple freezer meals. So I opened them all up and then I'm going to put the chicken in it. I bought this big bag of chicken from Costco. Again, it's probably on the May haul, May grocery haul. So all I'm gonna do is put a couple into each bag we can use about two pounds of protein per, wow, these are huge. So, I'm gonna kinda just plop them in there. Okay, so all I did was separate them into bags. I ended up putting like two of them in each bag. This one looks like, like they're two giant ones and this one looks like it's two small ones. So I think we'll switch a root there. So we got chicken in the bag, about two, two chicken breasts, and then I have two more left in this bag. So here's our sauce. I'm just gonna kinda feel around for the honey in here because it didn't all dissolve, so. onion that we chopped and throw in about half into 
into one bag and half in the other bag. And I realize if I had those little stand thingies, this would be so much easier. Also, you know, if I had cut and diced all my ingredients, had them in pretty little bowls, probably also would have been easier, but it's just real life. I'm just trying to hurry. <laughs> so we're gonna have to clean up as we go and that kind of stuff. That's as far as the prep is gonna go for the honey soy. I'm just gonna kind of give them a little mix. Um, almost dropped it. <laughs> So I'm going to seal these up and then you can, depending on your freezer and how you're going to cook it, you can lay these flat and put them in or you can just, I've frozen it like this. The thing is when you freeze it like this and it kind of freezes in a blob, it will take longer to defrost because it's a thicker blob that needs to defrost versus if you lay them flat and freeze them like that it, it tends to defrost a little bit faster um, but if you're going to cook it in your instant pot I actually would suggest that you maybe I tend to freeze it in a blob type thing because it fits in my instant pot better my slow cooker either way will work so and also, it just depends on your freezer and the freezer space that you have. I've done like tiny freezer meals um, and we froze them flat when we only had like a fridge freezer this way with the freezer on top and it was a small apartment size freezer. Um, that's, we did it flat because it fit better in there, but I did need to remember to take stuff out to defrost so it would fit in my Instant Pot or my slow cooker, so just two options okay quickly let's do these meals this is what i'm calling the chicken fajitas or chicken philly again i've made these on before so if you want a neater more cohesive more organized <laughs> freezer meal maybe watch some of our other freezer meal preps not this one this one is just real life okay and for this one it cannot be simpler i have some homemade taco seasoning here of course you are free to buy actual taco seasoning if that's easier i'm going to dump some garlic in as well and then i also have one of these bags of pepper and onion mix so this is yellow onions green bell peppers red bell peppers we're going to split it between the two bags call it done okay so here is my bags with chicken i'm going to put a plop of garlic in each of them a tablespoon of the homemade seasoning and then the peppers and onions this I know you're thinking can't you just easily do this the day of cooking yeah you totally could but um for days when I'm like I just I can't think about what's for dinner this is easy because I don't have to think about it I just pull it out of the freezer and I'm like oh let's make this uh, or um last week my kiddos got sick and then mom got sick and my husband um was was up he he needed to help with the cooking and things like that and this makes it so so simple i can just have him pull it out of the freezer and throw it in the slow cooker same for my oldest son he would have been capable and able to do that as well i don't even mom doesn't even need to be sick for that to happen i could just be a busy day and i can ask you know somebody can you pull this out from the freezer get it cooking get it in the slow cooker for me in the morning or what have you um, and then it's done it also having meals like this ready to roll things like one <laughs> this, is, this this is what i'm trying to get out of the bag it's also helpful if you want to take a meal to someone if one of my friends or something is down or they just had a rough day and I'm like, can I take you a meal? This, this is simple. I just pull it from the freezer and I take it over to them. Maybe take it with some rice and beans or maybe take it with um, tortilla chips and, you know, just something simple that they can just save in their freezer or cook that evening. So while it is super, super simple, meal that we're making that's nothing overly complicated it comes in handy so here are these four meals done so now it is about 9 20. okay the next thing i'm gonna do is make the cornbread casserole but i'm not gonna make the actual casserole and put it and freeze it in a in a casserole dish 
I'm going to make the inside. I'm going to make the stuffing of the casserole. That's what the ground beef is for. And then I will make a cornbread mix later. So if you use like a Jiffy cornbread mix or something like that, an instant cornbread mix, you can skip that step. Um, but I'm going to kind of pre-mix our cornbread mixing. And then I've got the two bags here because we're gonna double up and make two. This is my first time preparing this as a freezer meal. And just for my family, I thought this would be kind of the best way to work. I'm gonna do a super, super simple, again, um, just kind of looking at recipes and then I tweak it and figure out what ingredients do I have? What do I typically buy? Um, what's going to be most cost effective for us and easier for my family. So my youngest son doesn't really like beans, but so I'm only going to use one bean, one can of beans. Um, you could of course make your own beans, which I originally was going to do. I was going to make some beans, but time got away from me. So we're just going to throw a can of beans in. That would be, Another way to save a few pennies. I'm gonna throw in a can of diced tomatoes. I'm also gonna put in plops of garlic. I feel like what doesn't go with garlic? And then I'm gonna do some seasoning as well. But before, since I have the corn out, I'm gonna use frozen corn. You can use canned corn. I'm just eyeballing again, but do what's comfortable for your family. So maybe like half a cup to a cup. I thought I had homemade chili seasoning, but I don't. So I took out oh, oregano, salt, cumin, of course, <laughs> onion powder. I already put garlic in there. Um, and then I have some pepper. So let's throw a mix of that in. Again, we're just eyeballing. That's about maybe half a teaspoon of cumin. Probably do the same with the garlic, I mean the garlic, the oregano. A quarter to half a teaspoon of oregano. Onion powder. That's probably about a half a teaspoon too. So you probably see, you probably see a trend here or a... <laughs> and then just a little bit of salt. I think green chilies would be delicious in this too if you had green chilies, but um, my kiddos are going to be eating this with us and they're a little sensitive to heat, so I'm going to leave it out, but that would be really tasty too. So just a couple of spins of pepper and then I'm going to give it just a little mix here before I put the meat in. And then I'm just going to take the meat that we cooked, it's cooled, and I'm going to put half in each bag. Okay, so, oh, too close. Here is the cornbread casserole, at least the insides of it. And then these can get plopped in, these can get plopped in the freezer as well. And it is 9.40. So we made six freezer meals and breakfast and got started with homeschool. Um, it was a little rushed, a little, a little hairy there, but we got it done. So I'm gonna pause here, make sure that my kiddos are on track. And then if I, for you, it'll just be the next clip, but I may have to run our errands, come back and do the actual cornbread mix part of the freezer prep. Okay, it is, we're back, it's afternoon. Um, I was gonna go ahead and mix up the cornmeal mixes or the cornbread mixes, but I was out of cornmeal. So that's why it didn't happen. But I did end up having time before we needed to leave. We had left at 10. Um, I didn't even have time to wash the dishes before I left. So you should, if you have the ingredients, be able to whip up uh, all six meals I think I made, plus the cornbread mixes if you wanted to. Or like I said, if you just have Jiffy or pre-made, you're set. So I'm gonna take some cornmeal, all-purpose flour, baking powder, and, and sugar here. Um, and we're gonna mix it up. I will link down below to the recipe that I am using to store it, but I'm gonna make two of these because I have two of the 
cornbread casserole mixes. So let's get to it. I'm just using these little plastic containers, but you can use jars or whatever you have. Um, this is just what I have on hand. And then to it, I'm using, I have a half a cup measuring cup here, but you wanna put a cup in each one. And if you're making this, you could just make like, you know, five, 10 times the amount if you wanted to, I think it said on the recipe, um, just to have it prepped and ready to go. But I'm just gonna do the two for now. And then a cup of cornmeal. Three teaspoons of baking powder. Half a cup of sugar. And a teaspoon of salt. I might need to go refill my salt. And then I'll just label these cornbread mix and then when it's time I'll add in the egg milk and I think oil that needs to go with it I'm not sure like I said I'll list it down below so you can see what all needs to go in it but these are set to so my cornbread mix is done too and then that's it for the family freezer meals that are done I may go ahead and prep some lunch meals for me but if I do, I will try to remember to hit record and then share it on another video. So thanks so much for hanging out with me today, getting this done. Um, I appreciate you being here. And as always, if you don't know or you just need a reminder, maybe the one to tell you, you are deeply loved and appreciated. Thanks so much for watching.